Hey everyone, it's Sean from Empire Drone. We get asked this question all the time. How do I take the NDVI map where I've identified areas of the field to spray and translate this into an autonomous drone spraying operation? Let's get started. So today we're gonna to talk about the proper workflow to go from field mapping to field spraying using PIX4D fields and the DJI Agress T-Series drone like the T20. You might be asking, why is this important? We touched on this in our other video about the top five benefits of drones in agriculture. Growers and agronomists today now have a workflow using multi-spectral mapping drones to create plant health maps. Using software like PIX4D fields, these growers and agronomists are able to outline areas of the field that require assistance. This data is then uploaded into a spraying drone like the Agress T20 to autonomously target just these areas in need. This precision agriculture removes the need to spray huge swaths of the field, reducing time, material usage, capital investment, and while at the same time reducing runoff, exposure to potentially harmful chemicals, and the compaction of your field. So let's get started and take a look at this workflow. First, you need to map your field with a drone like the DJI Phantom 4 Multispectral or MicaSense equipped system like the DJI M300 RTK or Inspire 2 at a desired crop stage to capture current issues in the field. Next, start PIX40 fields and open a new or old project. Insert the drone's SD card with the mapped images and import the images or folders of images into PIX40 fields. Start processing the field and when it's complete, make sure to import or draw a field boundary around the current crop area if there isn't one already loaded. Then click trim. After that, you'll need to load the desired index such as NDVI and tune the advanced layer visualization by changing range transparency and color mode. Once the desired areas of the field are isolated, switch to annotations. Draw polygons around areas of issues that are targeted for spraying with products. Be careful to create shapes that are simple and not complicated to fly. Avoid sharp corners and no overlapping boundaries. And use as few vertices as possible. Once complete, exit out of the annotations and click on export. Once the shape file is exported to a zip folder, then insert a micro SD card. Create a new folder on the micro SD card called DJI, and inside of it, another called shapefile. Unzip the exported folder onto the root of the USB root slash DJI slash shapefile. Remove the SD card and insert it into the DJI Agros controller. Power on the controller, click on the SD card, and choose boundaries. Lastly, select the proper area to target for spraying and click invoke. Set the desired flight parameters, load the desired product, and apply to the field zones. Once completed, you're all set to start spraying. So that was an explanation on how to use a multispectral drone to map and ID a field using PIX4D fields, while then successfully transferring the mission to a DJI Agra spraying drone. Software is an integral part of drone technology, and it's pivotal to have a good understanding to get the most out of your drone. Please feel free to reach out to us with any questions you may have. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit the website and subscribe to our social media in the links below. We'll see you next time.